Hi guys, this is Bill with Media Unlocked, and we are back in the lovely 3O Studios in Lexington, Kentucky. Now we've had about 45 days here with a day and a half of rain. We're in drought conditions, and David's so happy he's just whooping it up over there. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, can't you tell? I mean, he's just ecstatic over a day and a half of rain. Well, we're here in the studio today, and I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about light modifiers. Now, there are a lot of different modifiers on the market. There are circles, umbrellas, strip boxes, rectangles, all kinds of modifiers. And they're all designed to do one thing, to shape light the way you want it for your photography. Now, in the studio, we use everything here. We've got octaboxes. We've got everything from a six-foot parabolic umbrella all the way down to a two-foot octobox. We've got rectangles. My favorite are the strip boxes. I like the strip boxes because I do a lot of standing portraits and I shoot a lot of glassware. And the tall light, the tall narrow light, gives me a better control of my light. I've been known to use this particular strip box as a hair light sometimes over an entire scene well, it didn't have hair, but you, you know what I'm really talking about. You should have to have hair to use it as a hair light, This coming from the bald guy. Did you notice I just got a haircut, David? Yeah, haircut, because mine is still there. Um, yeah, I know. He's obnoxious, but we love him anyway. But I use this as a hair light sometimes. I use it as a side light to create rims and standing portraits. I use this as an overhead light for bodyscape sometimes. This is absolutely my favorite modifier. The problem was all I had was the box. Now inside of this there is a silver lining. There's a baffle just like all pro photo strip boxes. This is the 1x4 RFI by the way. And that's the same as everything that Profoto puts out. So I asked my friends at B&H to send me a couple of modifiers for my modifier. That way I can control the light better. So they sent me two, the two modifiers that are made for this particular strip box. I've got the 50 degree grid that you see installed here already. I've also got the seven centimeter strip mask, which we'll show you in just a few minutes. Now, why do you use these? Simply to control the light. When the light comes into the modifier, it jumps around like all photons do. The sh modifier shapes the light and sends it out, but the light still scatters. So imagine that you've got a round modifier, just an octobox, let's say. And when the light comes out, it goes everywhere. It's on your subject, it's on the props, it's on the background. With this kind of a grid, I call them an egg crate because that's what the old name was, but with an egg crate, you can control that. This is a 50 degree egg crate, which means it controls the spread of the light to 50 degrees. And as such, you can position the light to get a better spread exactly where you want it with no spill. I can, for example, with a standing portrait, put this behind the subject, use it as a rim light. I can put it in front of the subject. I can put it to the side. All of those give me different lights, different shadows. I can create any light I want to with this, and the egg crate allows me to control it. The fall off is more predictable. I can keep the splash of light off of my backdrop so that I can isolate my subject better. I have an old master backdrop, and one of my favorite light designs is to use a rectangle softbox on one side, use this strip box with a grid on the other side, and then put a light onto the old master to create a halo around my subject. You see, you can use these modifiers to control the spill of the light, and really that's what you're concerned with. Now, these grids are available for any light modifiers. Whatever company's modifier you use, I really suggest that you use that particular brand of grid. I use Profoto, but every company has these. The Velcro will line up. It's a lot easier to install than if you use a third-party aftermarket grid. Now, we're going to take a time here, and we're going to cut away for just a minute. We're going to replace this egg crate with a strip mask so you can see what that looks like. Now, remember, this one gives you a very broad, a lot of control, but you're really gonna get control if you use the strip mask. Okay, so we're back for the second part, and we're gonna talk about this modifier, the seven centimeter strip mask. Why would you only want seven centimeters of light, Bill? That's a good question, David, and I'm so glad you asked that, because, well, it gives me something to talk about for the next two minutes. Why would you want seven centimeters of light? It's a very specific light. If you are looking for just a rim light, 
A rim light is such a gorgeous thing on a portrait to outline the side of the body that is away from your key light. Just that little rim light, this is the modifier to give it to you. You're only putting out seven centimeters wide by four feet long. And what that does is that it literally just outlines the body in a pinstripe of light. When I shoot glassware, if I'm shooting a wine bottle or a bourbon bottle, this particular modifier can be set up off to the side a little bit farther away and it gives me a gorgeous, just thin little highlight right down the side of the bottle. And the reality is sometimes that is exactly what I'm looking for. Now this is a very specific modifier. You're not going to use this one very often because it cuts so much light out and it's so strangely shaped for most of our photographic purposes. But the reality is sometimes with specific gear, if you want a specific effect, you have to use a specific thing. Now you could just take the regular light and cut one of these on your own very easily. This is an easy DIY kind of thing, but you just saw from the installation video that we showed, it's, this one sets up in just a couple of seconds. It just slides on and off so easily. Just a few little Velcro tabs on the sides and the top and the bottom, and you're done. So much easier than using gaffer tape or cut cardboard or things like that. Even Cinefoil doesn't work as well as this does, just so easy to put on and off. And that's why it's worth it if you need this particular modifier. So today we were talking about two modifiers, a 50 degree egg crate and this particular strip mask. Both of them really useful. I use the egg crate on virtually every shot I use. I use this one on some very specific shots, but that's one of the ways that I exercise my shutter finger. So I'll see you next time. You guys have made it this far. If you want to check out our newest video, it will be right here. If you want to check out the product, it will be down here. If you do happen to click on it and purchase it, it does give us a little bit of commission and that helps me a lot keep making these videos. And of course, guys, right down below, go and leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, follow along. We'll catch you next time.